am going to prep my eyelids with my MAC paint pot and this is in brown work. And blending that smoothly with my index finger. If you want, you can use a brush, but I like to use my finger because it's super convenient. And I like to use the warmth of my finger to just melt away the creases. Now mind you, this look is super duper easy. Like literally, you're only gonna use a couple of shadows, if that much. So I'm going to hop into my Sephora Color Festival palette. And I'm gonna take this deep brown right here in the corner. Elf eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to pat that all over my mobile lid. And really, you wanna pack it on. Then I'm going to take my Hospitalized Makeup Geek Stiff Dome Blending Brush. And as you can see, I had to doctor it up with some tape because it already fell apart. So I'm just going to blend out the crease. And I'm gonna keep blending until I get the desired look that I'm going for. So this might take a while. If you notice, I did not use any other eyeshadow color, but the only color I used out of my Sephora palette. So really this look is just based off of blending. So you just wanna blend, 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 blend. And if you feel the need to add more shadow, feel free. But you're going to blend, okay? Okay, now I'm just going to take my Sigma tapered blending brush. I think this is the E35 brush. And I'm just going to buff away at the crease, you know, just um, airbrushing that shadow out a little bit more. And there actually was a little bit of uh, this brown shadow from before on the brush. So a little bit got on my lid, but it still blended out very nicely and it was a nice combination. Okay, then I'm going to work on my eyebrows and you pretty much know how I do that already. And if not, click on the link over here to check out that video. Now, I actually should have done this part before I did my inner corner, but I'm just going to color correct with my NYX Contour Correct and Conceal Palette. I'm going to use that reddish orange color right there and get all my dark areas on my face. Then I'm going to make a wing on both my eyes and I'm using my favorite liquid liner, which is by e.l.f. And it's the regular liquid liner that they have in that small tube. Only for a dollar. Now I'm going to go into the rest of my face. And I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me foundation. And this is the matte one in the coconut. I'm just going to buff that in using my broken, you know, I gotta do something with my brushes. Yes, the handle on my buffing brush broke, so I'm just going to use the head of it, of course. It still works, but it's about time for it to go. So I'm just gonna buff that in. Okay, then I'm going to take my LA Girl Concealer, and this is in Fawn. And I'm just going to apply my concealer in my highlighted areas. Like I said, for you guys, you should probably do this part before you do your inner corner eyeshadow. But like me, I don't know what I was doing at this point, so I just improvised. Then I'm going to take my Wet Beauty Blender and just blend that concealer in. All right, now to bake my face, I'm going to use my CoverGirl Translucent Powder, and this is in the color Fair. I'm just going to apply that with my Beauty Blender all over the concealer that I applied on my face already. Now 
Now while that's baking, I'm going to contour my face and I'm going to take my Morphe 35N palette and it's 35N as a neutral. I'm going to take this brown color right here using my e.l.f. bronzing brush. I'm just going to contour the hollows of my cheek, my forehead, and my jawline. So then I'm going to take my powder brush and dust away the excess translucent powder. And then using that same dark brown that I used in my Sephora palette, I'm just going to slightly smudge out my lower lash line. And then taking this black pencil eyeliner, I'm going to apply it right on the rim of my eyeliner, of my, sorry, my lash line. And again, I'm going to take the brush and just smudge that out. Okay, then now I'm going to apply my lashes, and I'm using Ardell's Lashes and Wispies. And I don't know if you guys can hear, but I'm actually recording in my car at the moment, and it is thundering and lightning outside as we speak. So if you hear any booming in the background, that's what it is. And yes, I said my car. Alright, so now I'm just going to apply some mascara. Again, I should have done this before I put the lashes on, so if you're watching, make sure you apply mascara on before the lashes, because it definitely helps give the eyes more definition, and it's a little bit easier to apply the, the, the lashes in some cases. So I didn't show it here, but if you have a setting spray, just, you know, use it at this point, touch up anything that needs to be touched up, and you're pretty much finished. So yeah, if you'd like to see how I got my hair like this, let me know in the description box below. I'll be happy to do that for you.